Last week, Amy Berval released one of the most amazing videos of students talking about their own learning experiences. It's 25 minutes long, but I encourage you to watch all of it. The link is in the description. And I wanted to pull out a couple of things from a couple of different students that really resonated with me. And this is what they said. Autonomy um, is the urge to direct our own lives. Mastery is the desire to get better and better at something that matters to us. Focus on idea and concept and connections and less on the raw information. So all of the students within this video are incredibly reflective and they're engaged in something that I would love for all students to be able to do, which is think about their own learning and propose things that they would like to see changed. Each one of them is talking about the ways that they see the learning environment and the things that they would like to see. The three words that I heard from them in there are mastery, autonomy, and connection. And I think that those three key pieces were sort of throughout this longer video, but they really resonate with me and I love the way that she is defining them, that first student, the way that she is defining both mastery and autonomy. And the idea that there is this ownership of the mastery. There is this ownership because you have the autonomy. Um, to me, that idea is so powerful and that the students are able to convey that. When we actually listen to the learners in our church, whether those are students or adult learners, when we listen to the things that they are asking for, we can actually give it to them. We can actually give them the connection that they crave or the autonomy or the mastery over a particular subject rather than structuring something that not only doesn't give them what they want, but also doesn't get us to the outcome outcomes that we had set out when we were creating the learning environment. Those three key concepts of mastery, autonomy, and connection are all revolving around the learning environment. And if we aren't paying attention to them, if we aren't paying attention to the learners when they're asking for them, then we aren't doing the service that we are supposed to be doing. I think that her definition of mastery is different than the one that's been floating around for a little while now. The definition of mastery that most of us are working with is the idea that we will complete something, we will understand something so completely that we will be able to move on to the next thing and master that. But she is much more interested in the idea that you will own the thing and be able to do something with it. And to me, that's a much more robust definition of mastery and one that we should be looking for. So I guess there are two challenges that come from this amazing video that I encourage you to check out in its entirety. The first of which is how are we creating these three things within our learning environments? Mastery, connection, and autonomy. And the second is how are we listening to our learners, the ones that are in our charge, for the things that they are asking for within their learning environment? Are we doing both of those things, or does our reflective practice stop sort of at the water's edge and we are only reflecting on the things that we want or the things that we believe are important, rather than just asking, what is it that you would like to have here within this learning environment? Because I think that learners are interested in telling us those things if we care enough to listen. If you have ideas about how to match that challenge, please leave it in the comments, subscribe on YouTube, or join us in the Google Plus community for reflective practice vlogging.